YouTube. It's been a long time since I have created a video, let alone any artwork whatsoever since the year 2020. Um, October is a weird month for me, but I wanted to get back into creating things, and I know probably picking October probably wasn't the best thing to do, but like I said, I haven't really created anything since my mom died. And for those of you who don't know, I, I did lose my mom in October 2020 to COVID. But I wanted to make new fond memories of this month. And so what I want to do is every painting or drawing that I do this month, I'm going to do something she liked or a memory or there's a story connected to it from her. So that this month will no longer be a month of sadness for me. It will be a month of creation and happiness. Because despite that it is a sad time or a loss, I know my mother would want me to pick back up the paintbrush as it were. Um, I don't really have a story about tomatoes. I just know my mother had a slight obsession with them. I know that sounds really bad to say, but I, I remember her wanting to wake up at the crack of dawn every other Saturday just wanting to go to the farmer's market so she could get tomatoes or she would find a new way to plant tomatoes in our backyard just so she could can them and or make salsa and she would share those memories with me and that's why I picked a tomato to draw slash paint first. I'm not exactly proud of this painting. Um, I tried a new style of paint that I haven't painted this before. The jelly gouache? I, I, I was told it can, can react to like watercolor because that's something that I'm used to, but I probably would have gotten a better watercolor type reaction with it if I actually painted on paper, but I painted on canvas because I didn't know what I was doing and I was experimenting and learning things and just trying to get back into painting, um, which if you take a year off of anything, it, it's hard to get back into, and since I picked something I hadn't worked with before, it was extremely hard and frustrating, but I know my mom would be proud of me, just for getting back out there, so I'm sharing it with you. Uh, but like I said, my mother had this obsession with tomatoes. Um, I would argue it was her favorite fruit, but she would always say her favorite fruit was peaches, but that's not either nor there. Ew. I, so like I said, she would always do things like want to get up and go to the farmer's market or find some new way to plant them in the backyard and always just have this abundant supply of tomatoes and there's still some tomatoes still my parents' house that she had canned and showed me how to can and I never understood why she had to can tomatoes and I was talking to my dad he was like because it was always something you could just throw in a pot and add stuff to and make a soup or a pasta or heck even pizza so she in her way I guess having tomatoes was her way of always being able to provide food for us, not that she needed to, because there wasn't a day that any of us went hungry, but tomatoes was, I guess, in her way, her way of providing for us, just having tomatoes of some sort. Um, kind of funny, I think her favorite sandwich probably a BLT, so it makes sense. This was what she knew she could provide with, and she came did that and she shared memories with me because like I said she showed me how to can tomatoes which by the way if you've never canned a tomato or canned anything in your life it, it's a very uh, time consuming and patience lots of patience just so many too much patience because you, you have to process the tomatoes by the way if you've never skinned a tomato I, I don't understand why I had to skin them or peel them I should say not skin them it's peel but I always had to peel them and it was always, you throw them in boiling water, water, pull them out, put them in ice water, and then the skin just falls off. And I always asked her, why are we pulling tomatoes? And it was always because she didn't like tomato skin. But she loved tomatoes, she just liked her skin. So, uh, one, that, so like, you, gotta, you gotta skin them and then put them in a pan, break them up, and then throw them in the jar, and then you have to boil the jar and then for a certain amount of time, and then you have to pull the jar out wait for it to seal and there's a lot of patience in that and 
a lot of times I didn't have the patience for it, but it was something she enjoyed doing. So I am thankful she shared that with me, even if it was one of the most annoying things in my life. <laughs> Can't eat tomatoes. Um, but yeah, my mom loved tomatoes, so that's why I painted it. And even though I'm not exactly happy with it, this, how this painting turned out, maybe in the future I can make a better one. But yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys, and I'm going to shush now and let you guys listen to some pretty cool looking music. Cool looking, cool sounding music. And yeah, just enjoy it. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.